Hello, Libras. How are you doing? Thank you for being here with me. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your um, the series of what's on their mind. Okay, like, what is on this freak's mind? What are they thinking, planning, um, feeling? Okay, so just keep in mind this is from their perception. Um, that doesn't necessarily make it true, whatever they are thinking. So let's keep an open mind for this. Okay, let's get into it. Libra, let's see what is on Libra's love interest mind when it comes to Libra. What is on Libra's love interest mind when it comes to Libra, please? What is on Libra's love interest mind when it comes to Libra? Worry. So when it comes to you, Libra, they're feeling worried. Not sure why they feel worried, but they do. Um, now, uh, these numbers may be significant. The number 15, the number 17. And what's on their mind is make the first move. Uh, they could be wanting you to make to make the first move. Okay. It could also be that they know they need to make the first move or they run the risk of losing you. So this freak already knows that. What is on Libra's love interest mind when it comes to Libra? Okay, so we have perfect match. They do feel like you and them are a perfect match. The number four is here. Okay. And show affection. The number three is here. So they could be thinking that maybe they need to show you more affection or they want you to show them more affection. It just depends on who's doing what. Um, but I also feel like they don't want to pressure you or they don't want to be pressured about it. But at the same time, they got to put up or shut up, you know. You ain't going to be here forever. So they got to make up their mind. What is on Libra's love interest mind when it comes to Libra? What are they thinking, feeling, planning here, angels, when it comes to Libra? What is Libra's love interest thinking, feeling, here when it comes to Libra. King of Swords. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Um, they could be viewing you as this King of Swords. Again, it just depends on who's not really being vulnerable. Who's not showing affection. So it could be something to where they're looking at you as a King of Swords. And they want more emotion from you. They want more like affection you know what I'm saying? Because the King of Swords is very head over heart. And uh, he's not easy to like get close to on an emotional level. Um, or they could be this King of Swords towards you. So they they know that they've been head over heart with you and they need to kind of like tap into that other side. Okay. Yeah, I feel like part of this person... Um, has some kind of regrets. They have, they regret um, just how they were with you, how they've been, or something like that. Uh, the tower could be a Scorpio here. I feel like this person regrets pushing you away. This is someone who's pushed you away. Um, could be Scorpio very strongly here. They, they probably just push you away by just being an asshole, not being very loving, warm, attentive. Um, whenever you talk to them, it seems like it was some type of fucking business transaction. It's like they just weren't showing you that emotion that you wanted or needed from them. And now they could be worried that if they don't do that, they're going to lose you for good. Okay. Even though they feel like you guys could be a perfect match. Okay. Now, if it's the vice versa, then I feel like they're looking at you as this King of Swords and they're very disappointed and they do miss you. But at the same time, their boundaries are up. They have their boundaries here. They're like, it's either you're going to come correct and you're going to show me that emotion and truly connect with me or yeah, I will move on. So it just depends on who's doing it. Okay. What is uh, on Libra's love interest mind when it comes to Libra? I 
I feel like this person also wants to be transparent with you. They want to be honest with you. Okay. I feel like this person, if they could, they would tell you, like, you know, I'm sorry for how I've acted with you. Um, maybe, I, you know, I was just being an asshole or something like that. You know, you do have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So it does feel like this person was protecting themselves most of the time. Could be a cancer, Pisces. You know, we do have this cherry energy here. This person may have just been um, constantly coming from a place of defense and just, it just, you know, that's going to be annoying eventually. And um, anybody would feel like, look, I'm exhausted. I can't deal with this anymore. What's this King of Swords for Libra? It's like this person knows they've been at an asshole. You see what I'm trying to say? They've been so head over heart. And, and the thing about it is I feel like this person does really love you. They have strong emotions for you, but they just didn't want to let that show. Okay. They've been conflicted between their mind and their heart for a long time. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. This person, has they've done a great job at basically just keeping their feelings contained into themselves when they know they love the hell out of you here. So they do have regrets. Um, and they miss you a lot here. Just someone who was a real jerk. Maybe they were just acting very mean. I don't know. It seems like they were definitely like fighting their feelings. Um, maybe sometimes they would start or create, I don't know. It could turn, turn into an argument because it's like they're, they're fronting and it's annoying, you know? Um, it's like they were pushing you away, sabotaging, and then you call them out on it and then they could ghost you or something, you know? Um, or they just act defensive, you know, they didn't want to see the truth or something in denial. So they regret pushing you away with their nonsense, with their nonsense. And you put up your boundaries and you let them know, like, look, this is not how this is going to go. It's either you're going to open up and be vulnerable or I'm done. Justice. Okay, you did what was best for you. Queen of Swords is coming out here. Yeah, you may have cut off a Scorpio. You may have cut off a Pisces. You may have cut off an Aquarius. Um, a Cancer is what I'm getting strongly. With this Five of Wands energy, that's that's like Aries or Leo. Okay, um, let's clarify this. So I do see this person coming in with a message. They're going to be definitely much more open and sweeter this time around libra um and i do feel like you're going to get an overdue apology from this person for how they act towards you okay because it is weighing heavy on them they know they were wrong and um they're going to show you more humility more vulnerability this time around okay this person was severely emotionally unavailable or something like that. They were running away, you know, and it just got to the point to where you're like, what am I supposed to do with you? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, what am I supposed to do with you? That's a sign. Like, my phone's ringing while I'm doing your reading, so. All right, let's see what this person wants to say to Libra, please. Whatever ends up happening with us, I'm grateful to have met you and for the connection that we have. Okay. What else is this person? Arguments. I just wish we had healthier communication between us instead of all of this unnecessary conflict and bickering. Okay. Okay. Spiritual. I love how aligned we are in our beliefs and our core values. We can grow together. vulnerability i love how i can be myself around you but i also feel like this person wants to be more vulnerable with you they want to work on that i get jealous because i'm struggling with my own insecurity so i don't know if this person would get jealous um and they just didn't have the healthiest way of expressing themselves or they would just re resort to just like becoming an asshole or something okay 
I don't know. I feel like this person, they may even bottle up their emotions and they just explode because that's what they're used to doing. Just bottling up their emotions rather than talking about it. Okay. So with you, they feel like it is true love. But they also know that they were being fake in terms of like not really showing their true emotions and just pretending and doing all these stupid things, okay, to avoid vulnerability, okay? So I do feel like this person is going to be trying to court you back, uh, court you, uh, get you back in some way, shape, or form, be more romantic towards you, okay? And you have boyfriend, girlfriend. So yeah, this person definitely does want to get back into a relationship with you or be in a relationship with you. But I feel like it's only going to be under one condition. You're not going to let this freak come back unless they are going to treat you better. Okay. Virgo. We're dealing with a Virgo. Someone rising with Venus. Taurus. Pisces. Scorpio. Scorpio. Cancer. Capricorn, Libra like yourself, Sagittarius, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They regret acting like a jerk. They do. Okay. That's the truth. I feel like this person, they were avoiding trying to be self-aware, but it's getting to the point to where they're willing to be honest with themselves and be self-aware, okay? They were in a really big denial here. But you will get that apology from them, okay? All right, so that is what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading gave you some insight onto what's going on in your person's mind. Thank you for being here, guys, and talk to you soon.